So did you work from home in 2021 or maybe start your own business to earn money through a side gig? If so, it could impact how you file your taxes this year and you've got less than a week to do it. Here's ABC's M Win with tips to make filing a little easier. Working from home has become the new normal for many Americans. But before you try to write off a portion of your utilities from last year, keep in mind that you might not be eligible for the home office deduction. Keep in mind, this is if you're self-employed that you will qualify for this deduction. If you're basically working a nine to five for an employer, you're not able to claim this deduction. Self-employed includes business owners and independent contractors. And in those cases, you may qualify for a number of additional tax breaks. So for those individuals who are self-employed, not only are your home office deduction, but you can take additional expenses when it relates to maybe traveling, transportation, advertising. In this case, it's really important that you keep a track of all of your expenses. You have backups for this. You want to have the evidence of all of these expenses and report them. If you pursued a side gig like an Etsy shop or dog sitting service, to be honest, anytime you make that dollar or so, you do need to report it to the IRS, give or take, right? And so if you are making money from a side gig or a hobby, you will need to report that income on your tax returns. That includes income that you received, you know, through Venmo or PayPal, a check. The IRS has a threshold and above that threshold, you will get taxed, but it's still important to report any and all income. The good news, your side gig may qualify for those home office and business expense deductions. M1 ABC News.